So, by the looks of it, eBay just said to you business sellers, I don't give a about you, you little stupid ass, give a about you. Or at least so it may seem that way. So eBay have just pushed a new message across to every account in eBay, businesses and private, letting everybody know that they are now eradicating fees for private sellers. But what are they doing for businesses? But don't you worry, I've got the message here and eBay have nailed it. I'm going to run through the message now and give you my own personal thoughts and opinions on how I interpret this and what I think about this new change. It's my own personal belief and nobody has to agree with it or disagree with it or whatever. It's just my own personal opinion on the situation. I'll read the message and we'll go over it. Hi Ricky, we wanted to let you know about some changes coming to private seller's fees on eBay. The benefits to you as a valued business seller and the new enhancements we're introducing for you and your business. <sighs> Spicy. Valued business seller. Enhancements, come on. Starting Tuesday, the 1st of October, 2024, today, private sellers will not pay transaction fees when they sell items on ebay.co.uk. Get up there, private sellers. If private sellers are getting no fees, we must be getting something juicy. Finally. In addition, we'll be introducing new benefits for business sellers, yes! Like enhanced protection against fraudulent returns and access to one-to-one -to -one support to help you grow your business. Where's the bit about no fees? There has to be some reduced fees or something, surely. Buyers pay postage only, that would be good. Maybe it's a bit further down in the message. Helping private sellers helps your business. In Germany, local, we recently launched a similar free to sell program and a lot of new customers joined our marketplace to start selling. Well, that's good. It's good for you, eBay. But all those new customers didn't just sell. Oh no. Oh. Hundreds of thousands of them started buying and they ended up buying twice as much as buyers who don't sell. 80% of the time they were buying from you, the business sellers. We believe this is going to drive more buyers to your business. Okay, let's get to the part about no fees or reduced fees or something good for us. We're also adding new features and services to support you. Here we go. Better protection against fraudulent returns. We're dedicating additional customer support to address fraudulent returns more effectively. Ensuring faster and simpler resolutions. Well, anything quicker than 28 days would be fantastic. You'll also get more credits for the cost of postage if the buyer falsely claims the item is not as described. £3.95 will probably be rounded to £4. <gasps> free? Free? One-to-one -one advice with seller clinics. Just book a call and you can connect with a marketplace advisor for personalised advice on any topic related to your business. Okay, where's the bit about reduced fees or fee freeze or what we're we doing? There's no, I can't see it. Caveat, more steps to address false private sellers. You're out there, we know you're out there. At eBay, we are dedicated to ensuring a fair and equitable marketplace for all business sellers. To achieve this, we monitor trading activities and we will continuously help business sellers using a private account to transition into a business account. Come on now, come on, over to business now. Come on, stop getting free fees, come on, over you get. Come on. Or restrict selling activity as necessary. In addition, we've reduced the number of free listings available to private sellers. If you are a private seller now, you can only sell 300 items for free. Hope people don't start choosing to use their private account for just massive value items. That would be <laughs> unethical. Over the next few months, we'll be ramping up our marketing initiatives to highlight the benefits of using eBay for both buyers and sellers and showcase what makes it such a unique marketplace. 
Our goal is to continuously attract new customers and ensure they receive exceptional service. Fee free, free fees for businesses. End of message. Well, if fee-free clothing selling wasn't just a little lube up before they went straight in with the no fees at all for private sellers, I don't know what was. I'm very aware I probably won't be up for any kind of community awards next year. But let's just think of it like this. eBay are letting private sellers sell for free because it's going to bring them onto the app because they're going to say, oh, cool. I haven't got to sell anything I'm vinted anymore because that's what's happening and that's why eBay is scared. But don't panic. Those people who are on there to sell are going to buy from you as well. They are. So let me get this right. Hypothetically speaking, of course, I'm hungry. My fridge is empty. But eBay's going to come round and fill up next door's fridge in hopes that they want to come and share some with me. The thing is, right, the community is going to go absolutely ballistic over this, and I'm very aware of it, which is why I'm here quite early doing a video on it. You've got a few choices, haven't you? Suck it up, Buttercup. Or open a private account and see how long you last until eBay say, no, you're a business, so please move over, because that is what's going to happen. So there's going to be people on both sides. There's going to be people up in arms and in absolute disarray about how dare you give private sellers all these things. And you know, there's people on here that are businesses selling under private. You know, that's what that, and that is what's happening. And that is what will happen. I know, I've already seen people saying they're going to open second private accounts. And I'm not judging. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But you can see that eBay is obviously trying to adapt and bring back some of these different marketplaces that are quite clearly snatching the categories from under eBay's noses. When you're a giant and you've had market share for so long and, and been in such a high standard, and then these other small marketplaces just start looming up from out of nowhere and start snatching categories and are opening more and more categories each day, Vintage used to be just clothing. Now it's homeware, kids' toys, electricals, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, you've got Depop for all the different kinds of clothing and streetwear and whatever else. And you've got Vestiaire and all these different apps. And Facebook Marketplace is becoming a bit of a beast. Somebody made a comment on one of my videos the other day and then made a very good point saying, you can literally sit at home and be a market trader from your living room on Marketplace. And it's true. So this just tells me that eBay obviously have some kind of figures that they're looking at and going, oh, shit. And they're trying to figure a way to snatch back some stuff. But I don't think this is going to be enough to drag people back from Vinted, Etsy, Vestiaire and all those places. It's not. So I don't really know what they're trying to achieve here. The whole spiel of we're going to give private sellers complete fee-free transactions on the app because what they will do is they will buy stuff with you. I'm not on board with that ideology that eBay have there. But hey, <laughs> it is what it is. So eBay is now free for private sellers and you as a business seller, well, you get one-to-one -one support. And they're going to look a little bit more closely at your fraudulent returns after... 20 odd years, however long it's been. <laughs> How do you feel about all this? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll be really, really interested to hear about this one. See you in a bit.